We've looked into how efficient MKLeo is with keeping his opponents in the corner. So how does Tweak, the only person so far that's managed to take out MKLeo with a 3-0, deal with this pressure and manage to slip out of this disadvantaged position more than any other player? So let's have a quick recap of our options out of the corner. Roll, jump, attack, and stay. When escaping the corner, many people simply think to not choose the option their opponent is reading. For example, if my opponent keeps running up and trying to grab me, I'll roll away. And now they keep waiting at roll distance, so I'll jump over. However, now we know that optimal players will safely pressure all of these options without hard committing to a read very often. So in this video we're going to be looking at what to do versus high level opponents. The first important step is to take control of as much space as possible. We know your opponent is trying to space themselves at about roll distance, so take control of this space by moving around it. This will allow you to steal out space your opponent if they attempt an attack or grab, and it will also constantly confuse your opponent as to when you're actually going to attempt an option out of the corner. As we see here, if your opponent is constantly trying to outspace you, but you are also constantly taking more space, you can sometimes escape the corner with this single step. This leads us to our second step which is to overshoot before choosing an option out of the corner. Many players fall into the bad habit of panicking in the corner and trying to attack or roll out immediately. However, if your opponent is trying to outspace you, then this is exactly what they want you to do. Look at this first scenario. The opponent attacks before they take the space given to them, so they are outspaced and punished. In this scenario, Tweak will also attempt an attack out of the corner. However, he follows the first step and takes the space given to him before attacking, which allows him to escape the corner. This is known as overshooting. Although overshooting is generally associated with attacking, you can do it with any option. As we see here, Samsora runs forward and overshoots before performing his roll out of the corner. If he simply tried to roll from the very corner, he would have been outspaced and punished. When attacking out of the corner, it is also important to try and cross up if your opponent shields. This is because your main goal is to return to center stage, so if you fade back with an aerial, you end up back in the corner. However, if you cross up your opponent's shield, you've achieved your goal. After crossing up, it's common for Tweak to dash towards the center to completely return the game to neutral. Finally, let's look at jumping out of the corner. This is a very strong option out of the corner as it gives you access to air dodge as well as your character's attacks and special moves to get down. Being in a disadvantaged position in the air will likely need its own video if people want me to go into further detail. However, the most important thing out of the corner is to not force the option. If when you jump you can see your opponent is still spaced properly, simply land back on the ground and try another option out of the corner. However, if when you jump you can see your opponent is underneath you, then drift towards the center and take stage control. In the previous video, we looked at how it is common for top players to space backwards after safely applying shield pressure so that their opponents can't slip behind them and regain stage control. However, a habit I've noticed from Tweak and other top players is to roll before the safe landing aerial to avoid this on shield mix up and regain stage control. When escaping the corner, it's also important to think about what your opponent's character's options are. For example, if you're facing a Luigi and you're at low percent, you often don't want to use grounded options to escape the corner that could get you grabbed and zero to death. However, versus Cloud, being above him is a nightmare, so trying to attack and roll out of the corner should be preferred over jumping. Before we look at some examples of top players applying all of these steps, here is a summary of the video so far so feel free to pause the video to read them all or take a screenshot for yourself. For the first example, we're going to look at the Smashfall King himself, Zero. Zero had a very defensive playstyle with his Sheik that meant he had to be an expert at escaping the corner. And although this is an old clip, there's no questioning Zero's fundamentals. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video, and please let me know if you want me to cover anything else in the next one.
Oh, God. Uh, sorry, guys. Oh, jeez. All right.